Okay, so hi, it's Adrian, and how are you doing today? I am back. I actually thought I was getting a little bit of a break because usually right around this time of year, I usually get a break, um, but that's not what's happening. So I will go ahead and get into it in just a second, and uh, let's go ahead and get started with what I have on my face today. Started off with the Supergoop uh, Glow Oil in SPF 50. And then I did go ahead and use the Oma by Sharon C. Uh, this one is the Fair Lady in T2. So it's the second shade in there. They have it uh, broken up into four different, um, four or five different uh, color group or skin tone groupings. And then this is the second one in Fair Lady. And Fair Lady is the second grouping. Yeah. Okay. So um, I don't know about what you've seen, but as far as my Walmart goes, they're not really uh, stocking Oma by Sharon C. I did go onto the website, and the Oma by Sharon C um, is the line that originally came out in Walmart. It's still available on the Oma website, and it's still half the price of the high-end Oma um, line so if you are looking for it you can find it over there and then let's see as far as what I did on the face I went ahead and used the MAC the light radiant rosy bronzer so that's what I have on there and then for the uh, cheeks this is part of the new LYS uh, their holiday kit and it comes with three different blushes this one is called higher standard and it's actually matte. It's very dark and berry. And yes, I had to use a really light hand when going ahead and using this. And I did go ahead and use, um, well, I scored <laughs> Pat McGrath uh, Sublime Skin Highlighter over at, uh, it's good. Yeah, over at TJ Maxx. And yes, I am the person standing in line at TJ Maxx opening uh, my package before I purchase it to make sure nobody else has had their fingers in it. And um, yeah, this is a three-pack highlighter from Pat McGrath. And so that's the packaging. And I have it on right now. It's really giving me a lot of a uh, um, cool girl kind of really light pink. And so it's blending really well with the LYS. And so it's really doing the cool girl kind of look. And cool girl, cool girl as in uh, pink blush that is on the cool tone side. So yeah, nothing seems to be, I'm explaining stuff today because it all needs to be explained. And um Again, what I said in the beginning about getting a break, well, usually what happens during the holidays is that all the holiday sets come out, and so I'll have a couple Halloween palettes that I do that are cool toned, um, but usually when the holiday sets come out, they're going to be warm toned eyeshadows, warm toned cozy eyeshadows, warm toned office eyeshadows, warm toned sultry eyeshadows, warm toned glittery eyeshadows, but as you see, warm tone, warm tone, warm tone, warm tone. And this year, for some reason, everybody decided to go ahead and release some cool tone palettes. So my nice little break where I don't have to do a lot because I tend to wear more cool tone shadows than a lot of people. And, um, excuse me, I'm actually, I tend to be more neutral. And so I can wear a cool tone um, base that's a cool tone foundation that's based on pink or a warm toned foundation that's based on yellow. And I, I'm lucky enough to be able to go back and forth. But as far as eye shadow goes and uh, just um, what I generally like to wear, I tend to go with more cool tone eyeshadow palettes. So like I said, I'm used to getting a break when the Christmas palettes come out because I tend to wear more cool tone and they tend to be more warm tone. Well, that didn't happen this year. So um, back here, 
with um, some cool toned eyeshadows that you might want to try out before you go and spend $69 on a Natasha Denona cool, tile, cool tone eyeshadow palette. Um, so these are less expensive ones that you might want to go ahead and try out first and see if you actually do look or you like the look that you get with cool toned eyeshadows. So um, I've got together a couple of ones that I know are still available and I thought I'd go ahead and get started and show them to you. Uh, starting off first with ColourPop, this is called Daydreaming and this one is actually available over at um, Target and this one came out in the summertime. It's supposed to be daydreaming about Paris and so it's all cool toned purples and blues with a couple of you know light tones up here to be the sprinkly or the lights of Paris at night you know and the cool tone blues and purples of the Eiffel Tower and the industrial stuff so uh, really fun one if you want to go ahead and you know test out some cool tones these run about $14 Another one that I got was the new mod by Sigma. And so this one is actually going to be more mauve or more, yeah, mauve taupe kind of things. And um, this one is the smaller palette, the new mod. I think the bigger one has, what is it, about 15 shades. And this one is two, four, six, eight. So this is about half the size of the bigger palette and this one I think runs usually about $29 or so. Uh, the next, the Ultimate Vintage Jean Baby. Uh, you can find this one over at Ulta. I think it's also available. I've seen it over at Target as well. And um, so with this one, um, very cool tone palette. Again, uh, runs around $20 depending on where you pick it up. And um, it can go ahead and you can go ahead and see how you look in jean colored cool tones with that one. Another one that's available over at Ulta is the All Amethyst palette. And this one again is by ColourPop. Um, it's again really cool toned uh, with just um, a lot of really pretty purple shades in there, uh, both purples based on blue and purples based on red so um i really enjoyed this palette i know that there were some people who said that the formula or the ones they got they didn't think the formula was as good i didn't find that to be true so another color pop this is one you can get over at uh, target and this one is called plum season and so that's what this one looks like. And again, it has purples based on red and purples based on blue. So it's really fun palette. Uh, this one is ColourPop palette that's only available on the ColourPop website. It's called Lavish. It came out earlier this year. If you want to do something with periwinkles, this one has a whole bunch of different shades of periwinkle in there. And so it's much more of a blue-based uh, purple. And so I have really liked the looks that I've got with this one. In fact, it's what I have on as my base today. And then I did use, um, to get a pop of color in the center of the lid, I did use a different eyeshadow palette. But here, this is what this one. So like I said, um, the shade in the middle is actually from a different palette, and I'll show you that, that when we get to it. But I also went ahead and used the m um, eyeline, or eyeliner pencils, and um, this is what I have on as far as the bo bottom eyeliner there. And then a uh, ColourPop palette that's available on the ColourPop website. It's still available last time I checked, the Troublemaker. And then you open it up and it has this Hitchcock kind of thing going on. And it's a really pretty cool tone palette. Um, it does have some purple and pink and gray. And so a uh, really fun palette as well. Again, um, these, I think, 
These ones run about 18 and these ones run around 14. And then the ColourPop, The Legend of Korra, and uh, that's this palette right here. Uh, fun as far as um, has a good selection both cool tone and warm tone shades and uh, has some greens to go with some of the blues so really fun palette right there and again this one's available on the ColourPop website Alter Ego kind of went ahead and did a cool tone palette and it's the and I never know if I'm saying this right the Secura palette as a K-U-R-A. Well, anyway, let me... It's one of the ones that didn't get out of the box, so... Ah, give me a second here to get this one out. So this is... Uh, well, Alter Ego does inspirational palettes. This is actually based on a Natasha Denona palette. And I think it's one of the retro palettes. But anyway... Um, green, pink, and olive tones in there. So again, still cool toned, just not necessarily a blue cool tone palette. Uh, this one from Chiclam, it's called the Cosmic Come Up palette. And it's what I got for Halloween this year. And um, really fun palette. I think these ones run like seven or eight dollars. Was really impressed with the pigmentation and uh, the shimmers, they just had a lot of, um, well, everything. Just good palette. All the way around, just good palette. And it just reminds me of Juno Birch and her YouTube video when she goes shopping in the, in the grocery store. And it just, it, it cracks me every time. So um, moving on to some of the makeup palettes. And there are some makeup cool tone palettes. Uh, this one by ColourPop, the Aurora Struck Palette. And again, still available on the ColourPop website. This is how it looks. And again, gives you a good variety of cool tones. You get some cool tone pinks, purples, greens, um, blues, deep blue, sky blues, and some grays in there. So again, another really pretty palette to go ahead and try and see if you like the cool tone palettes and again I'm just trying to give everybody some options here um, I think probably the last one is Midnight Palette by Beauty Beauty Bay and they just came out with the Metamorphosis palette which is a cool tone palette and that's coming out for the holidays uh, Natasha Denona has two cool tone palettes coming out. One is gray palette. The other one is a five pan blue palette. And um, so if you really want to try the cool tones and you want all the colors, you might want to think about this one. I guess it's called Midnight by Beauty Bay. And this one has 42 colors in it. And so, um, yeah. If you want a lot of cool tone colors, this is definitely a palette that would work for you. And this is the one that I went ahead and used this shade right here, uh, right in the middle of my lid. It's a pop of color. But, I mean, just about every shade of purple that you could think of, every shade of blue you could think of, and 42 shades of everything that you can think of. So, yeah, this is an amazing palette as well. So, um, I think that we've gone over some cool tone palettes, some smaller ones, medium ones, and bigger ones. Um, so, just in case, well, hopefully it'll remind you that you have a couple in your uh, stash, or it'll give you some inspiration of something you might want to try before you go out and get the Natasha Denona, that gray palette, which is going to be, you know, one of her... 60 some dollar palettes um again she's doing that five tone uh blue palette as well um glam light has one gray tone the ghost face palette out and now they're doing another horror um where they're doing another cool tone palette so they have two coming out right now um 
I'm trying to think who else, but there are a whole bunch of cool tone everything coming out right now. And like I said, usually I get a break right now because everything that comes out for the holidays is warm toned. Um, but not this year. Not this year. So I thought that I would just go ahead and show you what I have and maybe have some of it in your uh, stash already that you can pull out and try. Pardon me. And um, then if not, you would have some options before you go and spend a lot that you can try out before you go and spend a gazillion dollars on some designer palettes. And uh, Pat McGrath has a cool tone palette coming out too. Um, there's one of the five pan ones that she's doing for her holiday. So yeah, they're just popping up all over this year. And I thought I'd show you what I have and hopefully it'll inspire you or remind you of what you have in your own stash. And I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.